up guys, it's Speed Hero 27 here, welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. Happy birthday Pokemon Go, as it is one year anniversary for Pokemon. So, don't forget to drop a like, share and subscribe, and yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, to kick off this video, surprisingly, a Porygon spawned in on me. Um... And uh, I used the uh, Pina Berry on him. His CP was pretty decent, I have to say. CP 591. Um, it was like Charmander's. He kept literally running away from me and stuff. So, I think I got it second try. Yeah, because it did two rolls there. So, uh, yeah. And uh, so I used the Pina Berry again because I want the candies more so I can evolve it into Porygon 2 because I have the upgrade all ready to go. But because this is the first Porygon capture, bam, there goes the Porygon. Um, I need 50 candies for Porygon. And so, yes, yeah, so I can get the Porygon 2. So that was registered to the Pokedex. An amazing capture right there. So he had Hidden Power of 15 and Solar Beam of 180. Uh, he wasn't, he didn't have a good appraisal, but who cares? It's a Porygon. I needed him badly. So we finally got him in our Pokedex. So that is really good, guys. So moving on to a um, different part. Um, we have a two kilometer egg all ready to go so that was pretty good and I hatched a Togepi that was the first time I was literally so excited to hatch this guy Red registered to the Pokedex 293 CP not the best in the world but I got nine Togepi candies and um, it said it could accomplish anything so that was that was insane when I hatched that because literally I have wanted Togepi for so long. So I'm really glad about that. And then just around me was just trash Pokemon like Zubat and uh, Nachu. Um, and then the other day, um, a, uh, I was just like wandering around. And then all of a sudden a Pikachu with the party hat thing on. No, it's not party hat, sorry. The um, Ashes hat um, spawned in. And look... Oh my god! I accidentally clicked the sentry for some reason. I do not know why, so I just zoomed by. And yeah, so uh, here was the Pikachu looking all cute and ready to go. 254 CP, so it wasn't like the best CP in the world. And I don't think it had really good stats either. But I don't care. It's the Pikachu with the ash hat. Yes! And that was um the first Pikachu I'd ever got. But then for some reason, the game glitched on me and I was all like, no, nah! like that and stuff. So I was just like freaking out just in case it dis despawned on me. And I was like, no, no, don't do this to me. So I ran and got the Ultra Ball and quickly exited. And then I clicked on it and then it wasn't even loading. And I was like, <sighs> like, I don't know. <laughs> hyperfibulating and stuff so and then finally it loaded and uh, the raspberry was completely ready to go I think I got the great throw oh no I didn't I for some reason I thought I did so I used the ultra ball technique and uh, I think I got it first try yeah so I was really happy getting that Pikachu because honestly I've been wanting that for so long 254 CP not the best it had Thundershock I can see down there. Yes, he hadn't got any good appraisable stats or anything. And I had Thundershock and Discharge, which I don't think is the best mood set with the Pikachu or any electric type Pokemon. But I don't care. Because literally, and I mean literally, I was so, so, so happy to have a to uh, catch it. So that was a really good capture. And then I was just having a little look at the gyms just to see if there was anything exciting. Uh, so in this first gym I clicked on, there was a Blissey and a Sudowoodo, or Sudowoodo, whatever you want to call it, it is Sudowoodo. And, uh, then the further, the one up, further up, it was uh, Snorlax, Aerodactyl, Scyther, 
Abra, Nidoran, and I think like a Gyarados or something, or a Snorlax. Snorlax is my favourite, by the way, guys, so comment that down below what your favourite Pokemon is in Pokemon Go. And then in that one had a few other Pokemon. It had like Scissor, Gyarados, and stuff like that. Nothing particularly exciting. So yeah, that was really good. So now we move on to a bit of gym battling. Um from uh, earlier on during the week. Uh, first of all, I think I took down a 2,287 CP Vaporeon and a 1,723 CP Aerodactyl. Now, the problem was with this, I got so angry with the game. I was like, fusing and, you know, losing my temper with the game because the GPS kept on trailing me in different directions and yet I was at the gym so I was like this isn't right and stuff I was like about to drop my phone throw it and stuff no I wasn't why would I even do that although when I did the ray battle with the bay leaf however I got so furious I, I was literally about to throw my phone no joke so then it was Rabidash versus Vaporeon so yeah um, obviously, the, I forgot to revive the Rapidash, and instantly, it went. I was just literally just using different type Pokemon, and then all of a sudden, I just exited the game, because, well, not the game, but the gym, because I realised I hadn't used all the my Pokemon right. It was just, like, all these different Pokemon that I didn't want to use. So, I just quickly ran out of the game. There was, like, five minutes for the, um... Jim raid to hatch, and uh, and I'll tell you that in a minute. It's all secret so far. Uh, so I had twenty seven revives, as you can see. I just healed up my Pokemon. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty good. I have to say, a really, really good battle. Um, well, at least I think it did. I think I assigned it. Yes, I think I did. But uh, we'll find out in just a moment. So yeah, guys, if you have any um, Pokemon that is over 2,000 CP or 3,000, let me know. Because I've seen so many Pokemon that are rare. Well, I haven't really seen any big Pokemon, like, around here. Because around where I am, there's, like, nothing spectacular. It's just, like, Spinarax and Sentries and Pidgeys and Weedles and what have you. Just... Just those really common trash Pokemon you see in your everyday life of Pokemon Go. So, yeah, and uh, it's like a 3038 Dragon Eye we're talking about here that I was battling. That was ridiculous. I mean, literally, I couldn't even bear looking at a Dragon Eye because of how cool it looks. But not as cool as the one and only Snorlax that I got a few weeks ago. Now, that was good. Because I was so excited to have that. Because that's obviously... Snorlax is my favourite Pokemon in the game. So, yeah. So, here is the battle. Rabidash versus Dragonite. Because I assigned my Flareon to a gym. And then I think all of a sudden somebody just snuck in and just took me down. So, I, I just came back and gave it um, the Dragonite a little bit of a smack uh, in the face. But, hey... <laughs> I was just using my normal attacks that I would usually do. I think I had, um, I can't remember, it's not over here, I think it's like Flame Charge I have on the uh, Rapidash, if not it's something, no, Flame Charge I think it was, I think it was Flame Charge, and I think Dragonite had the Hyper Beam there, I'm not sure, and this Arcanine wasn't the strongest because it had Electric Charge, this one, so I don't think that's the best move set you could get in the game. I'm not particularly sure, but um, I gave it my my all, and I think I took down the Dragonite for the first time. Well, I've obviously beat down Dragonite a billion times, but um, since they changed the gyms, you have to like beat the uh, thing more than once and stuff. It's annoying, but hey, uh, hey, 817 uh, CP was taken off the Dragonite, so yeah, that was really good. That was that was good fun battling that. And then uh, there was just a spirit that just popped up on my screen. I don't, I'm not sure about you guys, but 
Call me weird all you like, but I kind of like Spiro. I don't know why. He just looks kind of cool. And yet, all I know it's it's a really common trash Pokemon. It is they can't like power up a lot or anything. But for some reason, I think Spiro is a cool looking bird Pokemon. I just don't know why. <laughs> Literally, I'm not sure what. Same as Venonat. I like Venonat as well, but <laughs> I bet you guys are like, I don't even like Venonat or anything because they're so trash and stuff. So I'm, I'm not sure about you guys, but those two Pokemon look cool. I know they have trash CP and everything, but don't get me wrong, they're pretty cool. So yeah, we got um, the Dragonite again, which was at two thousand two hundred and twenty-eight. I was just using a random amount of Pokemon because I just knew that I I didn't need that many Pokemon because there's only one Pokemon I needed to take down. So yeah, that was really good. And uh, I'm not sure if I assigned it again. I'm not sure, but we'll have to find out because of, obviously I cannot remember what it was um, if I beat it down or not. So uh, I have to say you get a really good time limit on the gyms though. Even though you're not even doing the raids. The raid battle ones, however, you get loads of time. You get like three minutes to uh, destroy the uh, Pokemon. Which is an amazing amount of time. Especially, for example, you were going against like a 30 or 1000 Tyranitar or something like that. My my mission for um, the next few months, hopefully, is to try and get my Magikarp up to 400 candies. Because mine's obviously... You know, nearly up to 400. I think I'm up to like 320, 30, something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, I would like to assign that to gyms and stuff. So I can't wait for that. So yeah, I took down the gym and stuff. That was really good. Um, there was a rare looking egg there. And then in two seconds time, boom, the egg hatched. And it was... Da -da 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 -da. Magikarp. The Magikarp boss, basically. It's so, so surprising that Magikarp is actually in the gym as a boss. I'm like, how is that even possible? But, you know what? It's a Magikarp and I need Magikarps like desperately so I can use the pineapple berries, so I can get more candies and stuff. That's why I have Magikarp as my buddy at the moment. So at least then I get all the um, candies uh, built up and everything. Because believe it or not, I have walked with Magikarp over 100 kilometers, guys. That's how long I have walked with Magikarp for. as And he's been assigned as my buddy. Um, and obviously the one I think um, I took down... That's the question. Did I take it down? Mm -hmm. You have to find out. Um, so I'm not going to get anywhere near that magic card. But the one I've got at the moment is 100 CP. And it has really, really good IV. So that's why I put it as my buddy, you know. So, uh, yeah. And I got the raid pass. Getting ready to go. Um, I wasn't the only person to uh, beat this guy down. Trotte, level 34. Uh, shout out to him for battling it. Unfortunately, he wasn't in my team, but thanks for beating that down. This teamwork, teamwork, even though we're not in the same team, but... So, yeah, that was a good... That was good. Um, so, yeah, the group code was a Bulbasaur and a Bulbasaur and a Charmander. I'm not sure what that is, the group code. I'm not sure about you guys what that means, but let me know what it means, because, honestly, I do not know what the group code is. So, yeah. So, the Pokemon I just used for now, because I only had, like, 10 seconds remaining, I only had um, Rapidash, Arcanine, and Espeon, and the other three were just trash Pokemon, because I just knew that the Magikarp would be quite easy to beat down and stuff, because it only goes up to 1,000-odd CP. See, mine went up to 1,165 CP, and obviously, I think I took it down. So, yeah, I used my Rapidash, and I think um, the other guy used a Jolteon against him, and uh, yeah, I got him, so, yeah. Yeah, I got a uh, P Magikarp taken down, but the question is, did I catch it? Find out. 
It's okay. So yeah, the magic art was taken down to 115, or was it 119? I think it was 119 actually. My apologies. Um, um, of CP. So I've got a couple of revives, I think, and a rare candy. Now. I need the rare candies because when you use a particular Pokemon with a rare candy, it changes it into a candy. So you get, for example, if I used a Magikarp candy, um, the rare candy on the Magikarp, I should say, I would get a free candy from it. That would be really cool. So instead of like transferring the Pokemon that you don't need. So I love the look of these white Pokeballs and stuff. These are so cool. The game glitched on me. But it registered as a capture, so I was so, so happy um, with the uh, CP119 Magikarp. It had um, decent IVs, um, it could accomplish anything, basically. And uh, yeah, so I was up to 326 Magikarp candies. So, and also this one was a pretty good IV one, um, Magikarp. So I was so, so happy and I got 3,110 XP including the capture that I got with the Magikarp, so what, what a good battle that was, guys. The rage was on. <laughs> um, but then at the end, I just caught a wild leddy, and I, I don't know why I catch those. I just catch Pokemon because it's fun for me, just to keep up with the experience points and stuff like that, and uh, just to keep an eye out for those 100% IV Pokemon. Because I have never, ever, ever got a 100% IV Pokemon before. I've been close, but not close enough to be a pretty good IV one. So there were two raids um, on at the moment, but they there was one ongoing, which was obviously the one that I just completed. And the other one was just next to the other gym that I was um, battling the Magikarp for. But that raid wouldn't have started in like an hour and a half yet. So I didn't even bother with that one. Although I was curious to find out what was in that gym. Because it had a yellow egg. Which means it's a level 4 raid boss I think. You see, see the pink ones are like a level 1 to a level 2 raid boss. And I think the yellow one goes up to a level 3 to a level 4 um, raid boss and then obviously I think later on when um, the legendaries come in the game they'll start using the legendary uh, Pokemon ones which is probably like a level 5 raid boss so that'll be really 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 good to uh, experience so so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I sure did I was so happy that I took down a raid finally um, after that Electabuzz battle that was so unfair so hope you guys like the video, drop a like, don't forget to share and subscribe, and until next time, peace out.